In this lesson, we'll be covering offline operation using the USB flash memory port, generating barcodes for print and cut operations, reverse side cutting, and expand cut. One new feature of the FCX2000 is its USB flash port, which enables design and cut data to be loaded onto a USB. When plugged into the FCX2000, each file can be accessed through the control panel. With this, all operation can be performed solely on the cutter, freeing up your computer to work on other tasks. Here on the screen is a design that we will want to crease and cut by using the USB flash drive method. Let's open up Cutting Master 4. We can make the changes we need. In this case, instead of clicking on Send, there's this button just to the left of it, Save to File. Let's click on it. This will save the cutting path information to a file instead of sending it directly to the cutter. Here we'll locate where the file will be saved. We'll label it My Job 1. Click Save. And a plot file for this design is saved to the USB flash. Next is to take the USB from your computer to the FCX2000 by first ejecting it from your computer and transferring it to the USB port on the cutter. Now we need to access it from the control panel. First press the pause menu key. Press the right arrow key for mem. Press the one key for select data file. And a list of files will display. Find the file you'd like to cut by pressing the up and down arrow key. Once the file is found, press the Enter key. The FCX2000 will automatically apply the design cutting conditions and process the job. This same option can be very helpful when cutting printed designs by use of the barcode. Let's start from the beginning. On the screen is the same design we used previously, except that we've added a colorful image. This design is meant to be printed and then cut. As is shown in the lesson on print and cut, we have set up three layers, one for printing, one for creasing, and one layer for cutting. We also have a rectangle to use for placing the registration marks. Always remember when using a rectangle like this to make sure the rectangle is selected. Let's go ahead and place the registration marks and the barcode. Barcode settings are within the registration mark generator. So let's open the registration mark generator. Here we can make sure the X direction is in the horizontal direction and the convert rectangle option is checked. Next is to generate the barcode. First we need to enable the barcode options by this check mark. The next step is the type of barcode. There's normal, relatively long, and long. The longer barcodes are for materials that are harder to read due to reflectivity or lamination coating. In this case, we'll use normal. Keep registration marks is used for keeping the registration marks where they are, as opposed to next to the barcode. Keep this off for right now. Finally, we can place a note, which we will leave blank for right now. We can now click OK. And the registration marks along with the barcode are placed on the design. Let's print this. Now we just have to generate the plot file by going to the cut plot window, click save to file, select the USB flash location, and click save. This will save the plot data to the flash drive. Next is to take the USB to the FCX2000 by first ejecting it from your computer and transferring it to the USB port of the cutter. On the control panel, press the pause menu key. Press the right arrow key for mem. Press the two key for barcode cut. Move the tool to the barcode start point, which is the black box to the right of the barcode. Once that is done, press enter. It will then determine the location of the first registration mark. 
Scan the rest of the registration marks. Follow up with creasing and then cutting. As you can see, barcodes truly simplify the print and cut process and reduce margin for error. A feature that has been very popular on other GraphTech cutters is the expanded area for print and cut designs. This will save you media by placing the registration marks within the design itself. If you notice this design, it has multiple copies to cut. Notice too that with these copies there is very little room between the registration marks and the edges. It would be difficult to place registration marks on the outside corners, so we allowed room within the copies to place registration marks. To do this, let's first draw a rectangle so that the corners match up with the empty spaces. Open the registration mark generator, Click on Convert Rectangle, and then click OK. Expanded area is an automatic process. In other words, when this design is sent to the FCX2000, you'll never have to switch on an option either in the software nor on the cutter. It will automatically detect the type of design and make allowance for it. Once it finds them, it will cut the registration marks out. A useful feature is the mirror registration mark option. This can be used on job designs requiring the crease line to be placed on the reverse side of the media. This eliminates the chance of the print being damaged during creasing and cutting. It is also useful when there is a need to have a reverse fold in your design. The steps are very similar to the normal process previously discussed. The only difference is that this time the cutter, after it reads the registration marks, will first cut out the printed registration marks. We will then flip the media over and it will scan for the cutouts that act as registration marks and then crease and cut the material. To show how this is done, here is a design in Adobe Illustrator on the Mac that was used earlier. The print is loaded onto the cutter as normal with the print facing up. Next, open Cutting Master 4. Click on the Layers tab, turning off the print layer as normal. This time, we'll click on the Registration Mark tab. Here toward the bottom is a setting for Reverse Side Registration Marks. We are given a couple of choices of what we can do in this pull-down menu. The first choice is to cut surface. This is the normal method. We want to cut the reverse side. So there are two other choices. Cut Backside Low Volume Production and Backside High Volume Production. The two choices are similar, however, Low Volume prompts us to flip the media after it cuts the registration marks. This is the choice you may want to choose if you are new to this process. We can choose Backside High Volume Production. Next, we click the Cut Reg Marks button next to it. The cutter then scans for the registration marks. After this is done, make sure the cutout registration marks are popped out. Next, flip the print over by taking the bottom of the print and flipping it in the upwards direction, placing the upper left hand corner toward the top left of the table. In Cutting Master 4 again, we can simply click Send 